Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about when you should be taking your thyroid medication in relation to when you get your thyroid labs tested. All right. So what really put another way, we're just going to talk about when you should be taking your thyroid medication and how that relates to your thyroid lab test. If you don't already know how you take your thyroid medication, when you take it, with what supplements you take it, all impact your thyroid lab test. And because endocrinologists and primary care physicians, they only care about the result of your labs. They're not necessarily looking at you as an individual. They're not necessarily looking at you and your symptoms. They're only looking at this number, this value, and whether or not that reflects a hyperthyroid state or a hypothyroid state. It's really important that you take your thyroid medication correctly so that you don't, you don't make yourself look more hyperthyroid than you already are. Now, you might think to yourself, I want to be more hyperthyroid. And for most of you, it's probably not that big of a deal. Um, but in the case of your doctor, they're going to lower your dose. So you don't want to give your doctor any excuse to lower your dose just because you accidentally took your medication incorrectly. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, and I'm going to be going over some scenarios and how, that, how these scenarios will impact your thyroid lab test. Now, to do that, let's get out the whiteboard because I want to describe something to you. Um, which may look a little confusing right now, but I promise you it's not going to be that confusing and we'll talk about it and we'll go over it, okay? So right here I have a graph and this graph on the bottom here we have time and over here we have your T4 level. And all I'm showing you is what happens in the solid blue line to your T4 level in your blood, in your body, after you take a dose of level thyroxine or synthroid. By the way, this also applies if you're taking natural desiccated thyroid or any T3 medication. Um, conceptually, it will apply, but the numbers are not exactly the same, but, but the principles are still similar. So what happens is you start out at, before you take your thyroid medication, you start at some low level of T4 in your blood, right? Because if you are taking thyroid medication, you are reliant upon that thyroid medication to provide you thyroid hormone. So if you don't take it, you're just gonna have a low level all throughout the day. That's why you take it every single day, right? Because your doctor knows that when you take it, it's going to increase over a certain period of time and then go back down to where you were previously. Now this, we think that this probably happens around the, uh, around the time period of a day or a 24 hour period a day. Now that isn't exactly true and I'll explain that as we go here, but conceptually this gives you an idea. Once you take that thyroid medication by mouth, the level of T4 in your blood increases, right? Reaches some maximum and then starts to de decrease throughout the day. Now it usually reaches this maximum by about five to nine hours after you take it, okay? Now that's not necessarily important. I mean, it kind of is, I'll talk about it in just a second, but I want you to understand that T4 levels when you take it, they go up and then they go down, right? That's not very difficult. It, it shouldn't confuse you or anything like that. And it takes about five to nine hours when you take your dose of thyroid medication before you reach the peak T4 levels that you're going to reach as a result of that dose, okay? Not complicated. Now, at the same time, I want you to understand this dashed black line here. This dashed black line represents your TSH. Now, remember, T4 and TSH, they're linked, such that as T4 levels increase, TSH levels will decrease. Now your doctor, this is why this is important, your doctor is really probably only checking your TSH level, right? So if you check your TSH level at any time around here compared to what's happening with that T4, it's going to impact what your doctor is going to think is happening inside of your body. Such that if your, let's look at it this way. So in the beginning, your TSH is going to be high because it's, it's going to run sort of counter to what's happening with T4. So when T4 is low, TSH will be high. And as T4 increases, TSH will decrease. And then they'll kind of go in this this uh, method where one goes up and the other goes down throughout the end of the day. So that if you were to check your, your dose of medication, let's say you got your thyroid labs tested um, at 24 hours after you took your thyroid medication, your T4 level would be here and your TSH level would be here. Your TSH level is rising because T4 level is decreasing, all right? Not confusing, right? Now, what happens though, if you don't wait 24 hours? What happens if you take your thyroid medication and then you get your thyroid labs tested? Well, you might make your TSH look falsely um, lower than it actually is, and your T4 level will be falsely higher than it actually is, and that will influence what your doctor or how your doctor is interpreting your thyroid lab test, such that they might believe you are taking too much, and they will reduce your dose. Okay. Now you might think, well, these things, these hormones are changing throughout the throughout the day, but that's not a big deal because how? I'm, what does that mean for me in terms of how I'm feeling throughout the day? And here's the thing about most thyroid patients. That is staying the same no matter what. So even though this is happening inside your body, TSH is going up and down throughout the day, T4 levels are going up and down throughout the day, your symptoms are mostly flat, right? And I, you, know, you can, you can kind of use this as a judge, but let me ask you this question. When, when you take your thyroid medication, do you notice an improvement in how you are feeling right away? Right? Most people don't. Some people do. Some people are very sensitive to T4 thyroid medication or any thyroid medication. And when they take thyroid medication, they might see a change in their symptoms throughout the day. That does happen. But most people, it's solid throughout the end of the day. So what you want to avoid is making your labs look more hypothyroid than you are so that your doctor reduces your dose and then you feel even worse because that will drop your symptoms down to there. Okay, so that's sort of like 
the, the underlying physiology that you should understand as to what is happening inside of the body. So having said all that, let's talk about when you should actually take your thyroid medication. My recommendation for most people is to wait 24 hours um, before you get your labs drawn and before you take your next dose of thyroid medication. So let, let me break this out. Let's say you take your thyroid medication at 7 a.m. every single morning, okay? Every morning you wake up, 7 a.m. you take your thyroid medication. Now let's say you have your lab scheduled to get drawn at 8 a.m. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take your thyroid medication at 7 a.m. and then go get your labs drawn at 8 a.m.? Definitely not because that's going to influence what your labs are gonna look like up there in hour number one or number two, right? So what you would wanna do in this case is you would wanna skip taking your thyroid medication at 7 a.m. before you get your labs tested. Go get your labs tested at 8 a.m. and then take your thyroid medication at 9 a.m. or whenever you get back, right? If you get back at 8.15, you take it then. So you take it after you get your labs drawn. Now this will be sufficient for most people because by the time you reach hour 24, for most people, your T4 will be back to where it started from, right? Because it reaches that peak at uh, five to nine hours after you take it, and then it kind of go, slowly goes down over time. For most people, this is gonna be okay. Now, however, there are some exceptions and things we wanna talk about, and some no-nos that I want you to tell, that I wanna talk about. So the first thing is do not take your thyroid medication right before you get your lab tested, for the reasons I just mentioned here. Do not do that. Don't even take it the same day if you can't, because that's just gonna give your doctor ammunition to reduce your dose. It's gonna make you look more hyperthyroid than you already are. The next question I have all the time is, what if I take my thyroid medication at night? What should I do then? The answer is really simple. Just skip that nighttime dose, go get your labs drawn at 8 a.m. first thing in the morning, and then take your thyroid medication right when you get home and start back up on the evening dose that same day. Okay, very simple. Because in this case, you're gonna be waiting, I don't know, maybe 36 hours before you get your thyroid labs tested, but that's fine, because that'll just mean that this, this TSH gets even higher, higher and this T4 gets even lower if we extend this out to 36 hours, right? That, that whole thing will still occur um, inside of your body. So it actually, I think, is more beneficial in that case. And now, what if you wanna make yourself look more hypothyroid? Now, this might be beneficial for some people, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you a situation in which it might be the case that you wanna consider doing something like this. Some people feel really good on, let's say, 100 micrograms of T4 thyroid medication, but when they take that, that dose of T4, 100 micrograms, their TSH gets to a point where their doctor thinks it's a little bit too, uh, too low. So it could even be in the, in the range which is still normal, such as 0.5, but their doctor's like, no, I want your TSH to be a one or a two. But when they reduce that dose, they feel worse. So if that's the case and you wanna make it look like your, your thyroid is not too hyperthyroid and you wanna make it look like it's hypothyroid, just wait two days before you get your thyroid labs tested. So skip two days of taking your thyroid medication, then get your thyroid labs tested, and it will make it look more like you're hypothyroid than you are hyperthyroid. Now, and that's not really gonna be dangerous unless your, TS, or unless your symptoms are hyperthyroid and unless your TSH is very, very low, okay? So just keep that in mind as you do this. I'm not necessarily recommending that you do this, but I'm saying it is a possibility, and it is something that you can do which has influence over how your lab tests will look when you actually get them drawn. So I know this might be a little complicated, but really it isn't that much. And the bottom line is wait about 24 hours before you get your thyroid lab tested for most people. And if you wanna look more hypothyroid, then wait even two or three days potentially. Uh, you can skip a couple days before you, well, skip a couple days of taking your thyroid medication before you get your labs drawn. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know. If you haven't already, uh, please download my three free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information all designed for thyroid patients uh, like you to help you feel better. Um, and with, so if you found this information helpful, I think you'll like that info as well. And that's all I have for you guys. So otherwise, I will see you in the next one.